Hello chess lovers, today we are going to have a look at the first computer chess game. But first, a quick preface. Alan Turing was an English computer scientist and mathematician. He is widely considered to be the father of theoretical computer science and artificial intelligence. In 1948, Turing, working with his former undergraduate colleague David Champernoni, began writing a chess program for a computer that did not yet exist. By 1950, the program was completed and dubbed the TuroChamp. In 1952, he tried to implement it on a Ferranti Mark I, but lacking enough power, the computer was unable to execute the program. Instead, Turing ran the program by flipping through the pages of the algorithm and carrying out its instructions on a chessboard, taking about half an hour per move. Since there was no machine yet that could execute the instructions, he was acting as a human CPU. In that game, the program was playing with the white pieces and its opponent was Turing's colleague Alec Glenny, who was a novice player. Now let's have a look how the game progressed. Turing started with e4 and e5 by Glenny, knight c3, white is going for a Vienna game. The original idea behind the Vienna game was to play a delayed king's gambit by pushing the f-pawn, avoiding Folkbier counter gambit, but in modern days white is usually choosing a calmer line by fianchettoing the bishop. Knight f6 and d4, of course not the best move, bishop b4 and knight f3. Actually, white could gain some advantage by capturing on e5, if knight takes e4 then queen g4 and then queen takes b4, but instead after bishop b4 we see knight f3, d6, bishop d2, knight c6, d5, knight d4 and h4. What a move! This newly developed beast is showing some signs of being Alpha Zero's grandfather. But after Bishop G4, Turing decided to prove that it's a complete novice in chess, and this time it pushed the A pawn. Look at this craziness! We see Knight takes F3 check, G takes F3, Bishop H5, Bishop B5 check, and C6 by Black a bad move. There was nothing wrong with knight d7, but instead we see c6, and now this creature is simply capturing on c6. Black castles king's side, and there it goes, white is also capturing the pawn on b7. Rook b8, bishop a6, queen a5, queen e2, and also preparing castling queen side. Knight d7, of course, black could go for this simple tactical shot capture on f3 and then on a6. But instead we see knight d7, rook g1, knight c5, rook g5, bishop g6, bishop b5, knight takes b7, and not being afraid of black's attack white castles, queen side, knight c5, bishop c6, rook c8, bishop d5, and now black is capturing on c3, removing the defender and then winning the pawn on a4. King d2, understanding that it's becoming dangerous on the queen side, the king is trying to escape. Knight e6, rook g4, knight d4, actually black could go for this beautiful tactical shot, of course, accepting the rook sacrificed is not a good idea because of this rook takes c2 move. But instead after rook g4 we see knight d4, queen d3, knight b5, Bishop b3, queen a6, bishop c4, bishop h5, rook g3, queen a4, bishop takes b5, queen takes b5, and a horrible blunder by Turing machine, queen takes d6, and after rook d8, black is winning the queen, and the game was stopped, and black is the winner. Actually, we can say that Alec Glenny was the first person to beat a computer program at chess. What an achievement! It will be also very interesting to know your opinion about this crazy game. Waiting for your comments and questions. Good luck!